Good morning. Come on, light. Okay, we'll see if that works. My lighting is kind of weird. Good morning, good morning. I am getting on here because I, yesterday, well, let me just start by saying I have a problem. Um, I love, got it, um, I love some different brands of makeup. Like, I love, um, Limelight, Limelight, maybe. Um, I've used a few products. I love, I love some unique products, and, <laughs> but they don't have auto ship. They don't have, like, shipments coming to me when I don't have to get on there and order it. And, and, you know, you never think you'd say this, but I actually need that in my life for makeup. Or, I go to Sally's Beauty Supply to get some nail stuff, and I end up coming out with a ton of new makeup and a couple different brands. So, we're going to see how this does. So, I've got um, Palladio, Palladio, P-A-L-L-A-D-I-O. So, these are Sally's brands, I guess. <clears throat> got blush bronzer in that brand. And then we got Colab, Colab, C O L space L A B. So that's my new, um, I don't know if you can see it. That's my new concealer. And then I got Femi Couture, I guess that's how you say it. Um, powder and eyeliner. <laughs> I'll stop everything, like everything. And Femi. Um, get flawless eight in one foundation. So, um, a multitasking foundation with eight great benefits that creates flawless looking skin in one easy step. So, I don't know what the eight great benefits are, but um, apparently there's eight for this foundation. And then I got some um, new mascara, which I'm very partial to um, Epic Mascara, and it's bomb. But, like I said, I'm the worst. <laughs> so, um, I just bought this. It's called Fake Lash, so I thought, you know. But, okay, so I'm going to start with, let me find my primer that I use. And it's not actually a makeup primer. It's actually a an aftershave moisturizer. So, this is what I use as my primer. So, I'm just going to get a tiny bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to create a base for my makeup, and it's going to stay a lot longer also, and it smells so good. Hey, Allison. Hey, Granddad. Hey, Emma. Okay, so I put my, I'm going to let that dry for just a second. I put my um, primer on, and this is, again, this is what I use as a primer. And I use this every day as a primer, and it's amazing. I've also used other makeup primers. Yes, girl, new goodies. So I went to Sally's yesterday, and I was saying at the beginning of this video that uh, I'm the world's worst. I love some unique products. I love, you know, some products that I've ordered from some people. But um, I'm, I, I wish I needed an auto ship. So um, what is up? So I um, so I just walked into Sally's to get some nail stuff yesterday and saw this and thought I need makeup so bad. So I literally got like 12 things. And so we're just going to try them all out today. And this is the concealer and this is called Collab. I probably say that like a country head, like Collab. I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. So I'm just getting some problem areas with my horrible lighting in this concealer. Horrible lighting. I tried. I even moved my whole situation around. And it's still a bit. Okay, so I use I use a little makeup makeup brush for my concealer. Just a little little one. Before this, I've been using um, it. Oh, what's it called? It Cosmetics concealer, and I loved that. And I ran out of that. So, 
the more I dab instead of like wipe my concealer, the 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 thicker it stays. Like not the thicker. I guess I shouldn't say that. The the more it covers. The better coverage I have, y'all. I'm not a makeup person. <laughs> I'm a hair person. I'm not a makeup person, but I wanted to just do a little review on these products that I've never tried before and see what I think. So, y'all tell me, have y'all ever used makeup from Sally's? If you're on here, have you ever used makeup from Sally's or do you know anybody that's used it? I I used to use one thing from there a long time ago, but not all this different stuff. So, I'm interested to see how it does. Okay, so we got concealer on. It's not super light. And now I'm going to go in and I love to do my foundation with like almost a powder brush. Where is it? This is the brush I use for my foundation. It just goes on really smooth and light and yeah, Allison, a lot. Like a lot of fun good stuff. Um, it goes on very smooth. So this is called Femi, Femi Couture, um, 8 in 1 foundation. I've never used it. I don't know if you have to shake it up. Let's give it a try. Don't worry, I'm not. Okay. Come on. Here we go. So, I don't even know if this is the right color for me. So let's see how this goes. I'm super pale, so I always just bronze it up, baby. You're pale like me. That's what we gotta do. We gotta bronze it up. So I love to use this brush. Most people don't use a powder brush to apply foundation, but it makes it very lightweight. And it really distributes it well, and I just like the way it goes on. So, that's what I use. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, Patty. How are you, girl? Okay, so that's the... So I've used so far... This is all Sally's makeup that I'm trying out. So I've used this concealer. This, oh, a child. This concealer, yes ma'am. And this foundation. Okay, just give me a few minutes, okay? Oh, okay. Let me get you one. Pause. So oh, sorry. Are you doing your hair? You are? Oh, okay. Here you go. Are you doing your makeup? Take those to the bathroom. Alright, so while I'm in here doing a, a video, my little one, my little five year old, she's in there with an iPad doing a makeup video. She has collected my old makeup and begged for it, and I guess she just sees me doing this and she, she does it. Okay, so now I'm going to go for the powder and see how this turns out. Like I said, I don't, it can be a little dark. I don't know if this, any of this matches me. We'll see how this goes. Y'all are getting first hand, first hand view of this new makeup. And I'm pale as a ghost. But this was like the lightest. This was like the one before. This is honey beige. The one right before this was like super like ivory. Okay, so far I feel like my it concealer covers up my dark circles way better. Way better. I feel like that concealer is kind of just like kind of feels like foundation. Okay, let me pull out my It Cosmetics concealer and I'm gonna see if I can squeeze a little bit out of this and put, sorry, I got something in my eyeball. And I'm just gonna put some right here and see if that gets a little bit better coverage. Let's try. Come on, I know you got some, there we go. Okay, we're just gonna go in and try that. And see what happens. Because this mama has some dark circles. This mama is tired a lot of the time. 
Okay, so, so far, review on the concealer, I don't love it. Because it's already, there's already a huge difference. Look, you can already tell. Uh, Sally's makeup. But it's different than what I used to use. But, Bradley, I think, didn't you used to use this? Didn't you always used to use this? Somebody did. I'm pretty sure it was you. Okay, so, it, it Cosmetics Concealer Way Winner! I'm going to have to get online. Anybody know how to order that stuff? Okay. So, that gave so much better coverage. I mean, obviously, I'll blend it, but if you've been on here, the cream. I know, they don't even, I, they don't have that one anymore. So, don't get the, it's this new brand. I'm sure some of the other makeup is good, but the concealer just didn't do it for, for this mama. Let's start circle. Are you at work? Or are you off? For three days. Are you all for three days? Okay, much better. Let's go back in with some powder. And you know what? This powder is kind of dark for me, so I'm going to go in with my, um, well, where is it? My child took it. Anyways, I have a, it's Lime Light, and it's called Perfect, Perfect powder, I think, and it's white, and it matches everybody's skin tone, it's like, it's like translucent, but my little makeup jacker took it, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this powder over and blend it in a little bit, oh, you're such a grown up, okay, much better, brighten it up, okay, so now, um, bronzer time. So this looks very dark, so I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's see how this turns out. So I like to use this big, um, big brush for my bronzer. Like I said, not a makeup person. I have no idea what the correct brush to apply bronzer is, but this is what I use. And they say you're supposed to do like like a three, like around your face, like like a three with your bronzer and just create the or enhance your natural features. And then on the sides, contour a little bit. Okay, so I kinda like the, the bronzer. It's not too it's not too much. It looks super dark. I've been out of blush, guys. You want to know what you do when you're out of blush? And you don't want to take your kids to the store? You use eyeshadow. Pink eyeshadow, baby. Comes in clutch. Okay, so Palladio. Palladio. Let me show you the name. It's backwards, but you get it. Um, bronzer. Win. I love it. I love it. The other bronzer I had, it had two colors in it and one color was just super like orangey and so this one it's more of a like a bronze instead of you know orange all over so bronzer win um let's try this blush okay botanical and vitamin d wow that's impressive so this is the same brand that i just used i'm gonna go in and do some blush let's see fill my blush powder too. Y'all give me a heart if you've ever had daughters that jack your makeup. I was that daughter when I was young. I went in and took all my mom's makeup and she would always be like, Haley, did you take my eyeliner? Did you take my mascara? I'd be like, no. I really did. But my daughter on the reg every day She's got something, and what's sad is that I've been running out of makeup, and I've had to go to her makeup bag to get makeup to put on. Okay, blush. 
all right. Try to mess that a little bit. Okay, blush. I like it. I like it. I don't like the, I don't know. I like the more neutral tone everything. So, like, the, the more nude it looks, the better. So, like, sometimes, very rarely, I'll do, like, a pop of, like, bright pink or something. But, and that, like, match it with my lips. But most of the time, I'll do, like, a more just toned down, warm blush. So, like the blush. Love it, love it. Okay, so let's get into... Let me go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick. Put my brows on. <laughs> really quick. This is the one thing that I do not like doing. And it's probably because I always need my eyebrows waxed. Always. There's always some stray hairs. Mom life. And because um, I can never get them to look like, you know like all the makeup gurus. I posted one time and it's so true. It's like I just I finally figured my eyebrows out or something. Like they're not they're not twins. They're just sisters. <laughs> People started saying like they're mine aren't even sisters. They're like, you know, long lost cousins or something like that. It's funny. So, needless to say, they never look the same. They don't look like professional makeup artist style or anything. I just Quickly get it done as fast as I can. And I always mess up. Oh, see, it's going to be a big one today. Just got to go with the flow. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay, and that's that. One brow down. Basic. Very, very. I wish I could do the eyebrows. I think they're so pretty. You know how it's like dark down here and then it like fades up. Like that is so pretty. Girl can't do it. And then I always hold my breath. And I do this and I can't breathe. <laughs> I just always hold my breath like <laughs> usually still mess up anyways. Alright, and that's as good as it gets. So then I just kinda smooth it out. So it's a little more round, but like I said, sisters, not twins. So gotta get to drinking my coffee. handsome. I have a cup that says good morning gorgeous and one that says good morning handsome and for some reason I always pick up the one that says handsome. <clears throat> okay so this is, oh actually I'm going to go, I was going to put on some eyeshadow but there's not any in here. Oh I'll use this. So this is broken eyeshadow. That little girl, every thing that I need, look, this is what she leaves me with. This little eyeshadow thing right here. This is what I get. Gonna have to have a come to Jesus. Okay, so we got some paint going on here. Just keep in mind that this is the only colors I have in my makeup bag because my child came and helped herself this morning. So... I'm very, hi Kelly, I'm very basic, very basic with eyeshadow. I don't know how to do all the fancy tricks and so I'm doing, I did, <laughs> y'all got, y'all, y'all gotta see this. It's broken. Yeah, that's a broken eyeshadow palette. So I did this color on the bottom, I'm doing the, the light pink-ish kind of on the corner on the inside corner and right above my right above my lash line just to give it some color. And then I'm gonna go in <clears throat> with this gold ish color. 
tender color. Give it some depth in the corners. And then, okay, now let's try. Next time I open my makeup bag, that eyeshadow will be everywhere. Okay, so let's try this Get Lined Felt Tip Liner. Brand stinking new. I'm very picky about my about my liquid eyeliner, so let's see how this goes. Oh, I love that eyeshadow. Well, every time I see it, see. Sorry, I can see it good. I'll tell you what, Limelight, I think it's Lime Life now is what they're called, but they really do have amazing eyeliner like this. Um, the tip is really soft and it lasted forever, like at least, at least six months of solid use every day. It was impressive. What made me think of that is this tip. I like the way it goes on, but this tip is a little, like, it's hard. And so the other one is just very easy. So I like to go in underneath my lash line. And it kind of fills in that, <clears throat> there's like a space that, that's always like white right under my eyelashes. And it kind of fills that in and gives it a little more pop. Okay. It's like running out of ink. I've never had to shake an eyeliner pen before. Come on. Give me some product. Whoa. <laughs> That's a true, true story of drawing on your eyeliner there's always a moment where you go oh okay like i can fix that i can fix that sometimes it gets carried away sometimes you can save it okay oh man saved it clutch okay now like i said i like to go in Is it more, a little more pop? All right, eyeliner's all right. The tip I don't love, and I don't love how uh, how I had to shake it for more product. So, okay, last thing, guys, and then and then that's it for the new products. Fake lash. This is called Fake Lash Instant Volume. The brand is Femi. That Femi. Tour brand. So we'll see how this does. I'm very partial to my um, Epic Mascara, but I'm out. And I was in there and I just grabbed this yesterday. Just lighting it up, go all crazy. Okay, that's one coat, so not bad. Not bad at all. So what I do here, people are asking what I'm doing, is I'm getting like there's always a lot like a goop of product right here at the end of your mascara wand and I always just it on my eyelashes before I even start applying 
it gives it more product to work with and just like a thicker base of product that you can build on. over here, <clears throat> do a second coat, and then I'm going to pick a lip color, and that's that. So, my official opinion is the, uh, well, I do like this eyeliner, but the Palladio from Sally's is the better brand, I think, than the Femi. Femi, Femme, however you're supposed to say that. But I do like this eyelash stuff. So the, the, the real test with mascara is, as the day goes, like does it flake, does it melt, does it run? <clears throat> so as far as volume, it did very good. But we'll see how it does when... Oh, thanks, girl. I have not always had good luck. For my reason... Four Good Lashes is called I Wonder, and she, it's just a little clinically proven to grow back, to grow hair, and so, and every day, and boom, I have eyelashes and eyebrows, fill them in, fill them in. Okay, so let's do lips real quick. Let's do red, let's do red today. Why not? I love red lips. This is lip test, it's called Fly Girl. And, <clears throat> and I'm going to do red today. Why not? I love red lips. But, it's kind of dangerous to do lip tints without an up-close mirror. Because you swipe, how often do you use your eye wonder? I probably use it a couple times, once or twice a week, honestly, because I forget. Um, but lip tint is scary to do when you don't have an up-close mirror because you swipe one wrong way and you have to restart your whole makeup because, because it stays. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. And I know there's like a, I'm digging this only doing one last <laughs> look. Gotta stop and chat, gotta take a break. Okay. Second coat of red lip. Okay, now I'm going to do, and when you do this lot, yeah, it's kind of weird, sticky, sticky weird feeling. I'm going to do a matte gloss over it. And that's it. So, hold on guys. So, like I said, some of the products were great, some of them weren't. You get what you pay for in all aspects of beauty and pretty much life. Hey, hold on, baby. Almost done. So, mm -mm, it doesn't. They're very soft and moisturized, I know. But you get what you pay for in all areas of life. So, like I said, this, I mean, it works well, um, but... Uh, you know, like I said, the, the products that, that, you know, are proven and that I've used and that I buy from my friends are, um, they, just, they work better. So, anyways, that's my opinion on Sally's brand makeup. And, um, I have a child that's trying to come through the fireplace from the other room. So let me go handle that. And thank you all for 
jumping on and hanging out, and we'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.